Hello, Glenn Dyer here, and I just got back wa from watching Men in Black 3! Yay! Oh, it sucks, by the way. I like to start off by saying, you know, just to get it out of the way, this was the, probably the most disappointing in the series. Alright, just saying. If you didn't like the second one, you definitely won't like the third. Better structure this, okay? So, um, what I thought of the first movie. The first movie, alright? Uh, Men in Black 1. I loved it. See? Like most people. You know. Um, I love the characters. I love the action. I love the comedy. Just a great, great movie. Definitely a classic for all to see. Now, the second one is not as good. Yeah. But... Unlike most people, I actually enjoyed that one. The, despite the fact that, um, you know, it was less imaginative than the first, you know, it, it looked like they tried. They, they gave, it, to me, it seemed like they gave a decent effort, you know. They brought back a lot of the characters and stuff and gave, a, and gave us that great Men in Black fix, you know. I, I just loved it. And it did feel like they were continuing the story, you know. And then the third one came out, <laughs> and they decided to toss that all out the window. This movie has none of the characters from the first two. Well, um, you get Agent J, of course, Will Smith. I like him, but he's not all that makes up Men in Black. I'm sure people will agree with me on that. Um, Agent K, uh... When he's played by Tommy Lee Jones, he's only in a couple of scenes, because this is set mostly in the past. <laughs> I'm probably not spoiling anything for you if you've seen the commercials. So, oh, oh, there is one guy, uh, you know those annoying little worm guys from the, that are mostly in the second one? They make a short cameo. <laughs> That's all the, for the side characters. Agent Zed is dead in the first scene. Uh, the, the talking pug, uh, he's never there. Like, I'm serious. They couldn't even get a pug in a tuxedo to walk by. They just couldn't do it. I don't, I don't understand that. Um, the guy with, with the exploding and growing back head, he's not there. I don't understand that. He was so funny. I thought he was, like, one of the more hilarious characters, you know? Yeah. But, no, no, they couldn't have him. But, you know, I, I would have been willing to forgive that if they had some new characters to replace them, like new, just as funny ones. You don't. At all. Probably the only new character that's actually, like, decent is probably the main villain, Boris. Just because of how over-the-top villainy he is, you know, he has a... Australian accent and, you know, he's all big with a missing arm and uh, these little telescope eyes and teeth that look like they're on wrong. <laughs> I remember when it showed him, I just kind of snorted a little. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, yeah, he's about the only good bit, though. It was just disappointing. Uh, it, it seems like really a sellout, you know. It's it, they just kind of resort to what old sci-fi movie series just kind of go to. If you can't think of anything good, just have some time travel one. That's about it. Um, you know, uh, it's predictable. It's not very funny. I think there's only one joke that made me laugh. And, <laughs> to be honest, the... The villain, who I'm almost certain isn't meant to be funny, is the only thing that made me laugh, so I don't, <laughs> I don't understand that. But, uh, but yeah, it just doesn't seem like they're putting an effort into it. It just seems like a, like, a scheme to make money. That's about it. Nothing, nothing to do with, um, ha having the fans like it or anything, just a uh, quick buck. Which is really disappointing, and I hate it when movies go to that. You know, I was willing to give this movie a chance. You know, I had low expectations 
but they were still broken. You know, I I was still disappointed, and that's probably the worst bit of all. So yeah, I I don't recommend it unless um I don't know they're. I don't know, you just, you just have ten bucks and you don't feel like spending it on anything useful, go see Men in Black 30 then. But, honestly, if, you, if you're going there looking for a continuation to the old, to the old movies, or, or even, even just seeing your favorite characters, you'll be very, very disappointed. Alright. Yeah, even the scenes where Tommy Lee Jones is there, he doesn't seem to be acting like Agent K. He seems really old, and he seems really out. Like, he, he looks like he was, ha he was like, on like half a dozen sleeping pills in the scenes that he was in. It just... <sighs> it was just a major disappointment, and... I hope that they don't make another one because you know that's prob that one's probably going to be even worse. And so. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, I still have um, a free movie ticket, so tomorrow I am going out to see Brave. Uh, I've heard good things about that, so I hope it'll be okay. Ugh. Honestly, it can't be worse than Men in Black 30, right? Anyway. Well, that's it. Ciao.